So it's really important is to find a firm that has that culture of the client interest first, that has high ethical standards. It makes compliance very much easy to um, put in, implement a program when everybody is like-minded in the tone from the top, especially at CWB, is do the right thing for your clients. Um, how do I support the sales team? I try to build a framework behind the scenes so they're just automatically doing what they need to without recognizing that they're doing compliance. <laughs> so that's how I know I'm effective. We have no client complaints and everything just runs smoothly. Uh, how did I find my career? I started a long time ago in the 80s with my degree in economics thinking I was going to conquer the world and I'm told when I arrive at Richardson Greenshields, you're going to be a sales assistant. And you said thank you because it was a job. And we sat there in a room every morning in the stock market from, from 7.30 to 8.30 you were in broker school and you sat with these guys. Some of them only had high school diplomas and you had to sit there and watch them get pushed forward. And that really didn't sit well with me. So I did the courses that I needed to and I looked for opportunity. Uh, eventually I ended up doing HR. And uh, so I was in registration in HR and I went on maternity leave and I get a phone call out of the blue and it was from my, my boss, the CEO said, hey, have you ever considered compliance? You would be really, really good. And uh, here I am. Don't underestimate yourselves. If something's coming across and you don't think you're fully qualified, it might not be the skill sets that they're looking for. They might be looking for an attribute such as a cultural fit or personality fit with the team. We can always develop the skills that we're looking for. The other thing I would um, share with this group is keep life balance. It's okay to have a family if, if you're a professional. You don't have to work 18 hour days. Look for places that will support flexibility. Look for places that support having children. Uh, one of my barriers when I started having kids was I was told point blank, well, we're not going to promote you into an executive role because you're going to disappear for 10 years, so why would we spend any money developing you? You don't have that barrier anymore, so don't underestimate. And back to Joelle, take the risk. Thanks.